All right, welcome back. We are out trapping today for the first day of the 2021 Iowa season, and we are getting ready to put in a couple of bait hole sets. We're looking for mink, raccoon, otter, any of those type of fur bearing animals. And what we have here is we've got kind of the perfect spot for everything. Um, to my other side here, we are just down from a beaver dam, which is gonna provide the uh, best ecosystem for, for just about everything. So we're just down from here. We've got a ton of raccoon tracks. We got some scat, they're running up the bank here everywhere. And what I've got here is a nice little kind of a cut bank and uh, some water that kind of shallows up a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear some of this grass out of the way. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna dig my bait hole and uh, we're gonna stick a trap in there, some bait and uh, see what we can catch. So I'm gonna get started here. Okay, so first I've got, uh, I've just got a trowel here and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna start kind of slicing in my hole right through here and get it to where the water just kind of comes up in the hole and get a ways back there so I can hide my bait. So I'm probably gonna start here where there's this kind of this natural little indention here and uh, go back as far as I can. You see, I'm just kind of going back real slowly as not to destroy the bank, but also pull some of this out of here. Push that in there. And what I like to do is I like to get up in here with my boot, save myself a little time. And I'll just stick my boot right in there and I'll start kind of kicking. So it gets me way up in there and then I'll just kind of take my hand and get nice and muddy. Just kind of smooth that bank up around my hole and dig just a little shelf out so that my bait gets all the way. I've got a nice little spot to stick my bait right up in there. Keep smoothing this up. Then I'll take my trowel and I'll start, just kind of make myself a trap bed. You're gonna want it to fill just this very entrance of this hole. Also kind of come in there with my boot and mush it down a little bit. And there'll be a little trial and error here once you get your trap set to see how it's setting. Kind of smooth that up with my hand, feel around. That feels pretty good. So before I get started with my trap, I'm gonna take my bait, get that in there so that I don't snap my hand when I do when I have the trap set. So we've got just some just some river chubs, some stinky old river chubs here. Pull one out of there. Get a nice big one. Right like that. And I'm just gonna, very crudely, kind of split it up, just get some of those juices out. Stick it up in here. Mash it up on my shelf. So that it's all the way in there, the fish or the, I'm sorry, the animal can see it and they'll want to go get it. So then I'll move on to my trap. All right, and so it's just uh, your trap set up on a, a very basic drowning system. So you've got your bent washer. I'll have that staked out. Once it travels down there into the water, it won't be able to pull, it won't be able to pull forward. So start back here and then it'll stop so I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up push in one end right there like that and you come out here to the deeper water away from your set and you'll push the other end down here Just like that. 
come back in here. Set the trap. So and you make sure you're all the way up against here. All right. And like I said, there's going to be some trial and error with that trap to make sure your bed's right. to play with a little bit that's about perfect right there you want the dog towards the hole like so nice and firm and then the last step is we take a little bit of fish oil shake that up and we just squirt that around the hole all right that's the bait hole set we're gonna put in a few more right by this beaver dam see if we can find some sort of critter thanks for watching all right we've got i think three bait holes put in i got a really good one here's the the top side of the dam much deeper water i've got a really good one wedged in right over there that uh, that's my set I'm hoping for otter if there are any otter here so we'll be back in the morning and then the next couple days we'll see if we uh, if we've got any kind of critters waiting for us all right morning number one checking our bait hole sets and looks like we've got a couple prizes our drowner rig didn't work like hoped but uh, we got one raccoon there and I can see a floater over there, one that did drown in our bait hole. So three sets, two raccoons. We'll get them out. Let you have a look at them here in a little bit. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for our bait hole sets. I only put out three bait hole sets and two of them had raccoons in it. So that's a heck of a first morning. That was check number one. Uh, we'll be doing it here for a couple more days, um, but uh, that's, that's pretty good stuff. So, uh, you know, as you saw, the, the drowner set, it works really well. Uh, we had one that drowned. The other one, fortunately, the water just wasn't deep enough, so it didn't quite get to the point where it drowned, and we had to dispatch that. But uh, we uh, ended up with three raccoons. Uh, we did catch a third and a beaver snare, uh, kind of an incidental catch, but we'll take it, take it all the same. So down the tailgate there are a couple of big plump beavers. Uh, make sure to check out our beaver snaring uh, video that's, that's upcoming. So. Um, we're, we're gonna do a little bit more trapping. We might, uh, we're gonna have some predator stuff, uh, how to set a dirt hole set, you know, that type of thing coming up. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for our remaining trapping videos. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.